Okay, let's do this. So here we are in the tail end of this little series, just this class and one more class to go, and then we're into Christmas. So uh, we're gonna be working booty today, so working the glutes. One thing to really think about and consider whenever we're working the glutes is how much movement is coming from your lower back and how much movement is coming from your hip. So for example, when if we're going into, which we will be eventually, into any leg lifts or donkey kicks, we want to make sure that that movement is coming from your hip and not into your lower back. We can always go higher if we dump into our lower back, okay? But instead, just keep the lower back nice and long and just move with the range of motion that you have, okay? Even if that means you're not going as high, you're using the right muscles and you're not overusing the lower back. So it's a more effective, efficient way to use the glutes. Okay, let me find my papers. <laughs> I just have to find my little book here. All right, sorry, I thought I had it here. Let's start nice and tall, push your feet into the floor, scrunch up your toes a couple of times, and then put a little micro bend into your knees, and then just check your alignment. Just bring your hands up past your hips, and then up into the rib cage, and just notice if those two, uh, those two, the ribs and the hips are lined up on top of each other. And then let your arms drop, and let's just drop the chin to the chest, and let it float to the ceiling, and back to the chest, and up to the ceiling. Two more, and up, and last one, and floating it up. Come up nice and long, reach your shoulders away from your ears, and rotate into your shoulder checks. over the shoulders. One side might be a little bit more, have more range of motion than the other. And finishing off in center, bring your elbows in, really pull your elbows into your side, bring your shoulder blades up to your ears, pull them back, draw them down, pull them around, and back up to the ears. Back, down, and around one more time up back down and around let's go the other way pull them back pull them up come around forward and pull them down so we're just keeping the arms really close to the body here up to the ears roll the shoulders forward and down one more time back up around and down coming into our arm circles right away now start to push your feet down draw the abdominals in and just stay super duper still here as we move the arms anchored by your feet and let's go the other way opening the collarbone your chair what we're going to do is grab it and put it at the end of your mat so that the legs of the chair are on actually on top of the end of your mat okay and we're going to just hold on to your chair for a second here and come into some uh, hip circles so bring your, your leg up send it out wide turn it down and pull it through so it goes up send it out turn it down and pull it through out and once you've done three one direction you're going to go the other way coming around and out pull it down nice work take it slow this is sort of like oiling up your hip joint one more nice letting that go and let's go with the other side send it out turn it down and pull it back forward out and around and back through nice work other way for three awesome and we're going to let that go taking your hand off 
off of your chair. Put that little bend back into your knees. Let's nod the chin and roll down nice and slow on this first one, keeping the bend in the knees. When we get to the bottom, halfway lift. Lifting your spine nice and long, pushing your hands into your shins. Exhale, soften. Rag doll up, scooping in the belly, stay soft in the chest and rolling your shoulders. Big breath in, exhale, roll it down. Halfway lift, create that tug of war between the top of your head and your tailbone and soften, exhale, rag doll up, draw in through the tummy and stack your spine up tall. One more time, nod the chin and roll down. Halfway lift. Exhale, soften, and ragdoll up. Coming up to standing, roll the shoulders. Now, you can just leave your chair where it is for now, grabbing onto your two weights and bringing the weights to just gently rest on your shoulder, okay? So you're still holding them, but you're just letting them rest on your shoulder. And we're gonna come into some wide squats. So bring the feet quite wide. You could turn them out ever so slightly if that feels good, okay? And we're gonna get really tall here. Before we go down, squeeze your glutes. Really draw your sit bones towards each other. Find out what that feels like. And then let's send those sit bones back behind us. Exhale, press through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Send the sit bones back, lift the chest, and press. Lowering down. Exhale, press it up. Really making sure you feel those glutes get really fired up at the top of the range. Lower down and pressing up. Can you just find your pinky toe, push that pinky toe into the floor, thinking about the outer edge of your foot and press. Lowering down and pressing up. We have four more here. Control it down and press it up and lower and press last two exhale squeeze it up last one we're going to hold it down here tiny pulses keep your abdominals lifted start to pulse in the legs draw up through the tummy lift your chest ten nine eight seven six five four three two one stand tall Whew. Nice work. We're going to turn to lengthwise on your mat and bring your right, sorry, your left foot forward in front of you. So now both feet are still parallel, so they're not turned out. We're going to take the weights. I call this start line stance. So imagine you were going to be in a foot race or in a running race. You have one leg behind you, sort of like you're going to push off that back leg and you've got one foot planted. The weights are in your hands. As we inhale, we're going to lower down to touch the weights to the floor. Exhale, push up through the heel of the front leg, standing tall. Inhale, we lower down. Now, if your weights don't touch the floor, that's okay. Go down as low as you feel comfortable with. And exhale, drive that front heel into the floor. Everything is square here. Square hips, square shoulders. Exhale, that front foot just goes right through the floor. And lower down. Exhale, press it up. Nice job. So that front glute is working really hard. Stay really tall here and squeeze the glute at the top of that range. Nice strong front leg. And up and lower and up Whew. can we do four more lowering down stay tall stay lifted in your chest there's four down three exhale two strong front leg and last one Exhale, press. Letting that go, shaking it off. Notice the heat in one hip. So 
So the left hip should have just a ton of life in it. We're gonna switch it up. Right, our right foot goes forward. Play with this position, making sure you feel like you're kind of in a, in a running race, getting ready to go. And then when you're ready, the weight goes down through that front heel, lower. Exhale, drive the heel down. And down. Exhale. So you're just going as deep into your knees as your knees will allow. Everybody's going to be a little different here. The goal is to be in control in both directions. It doesn't matter if your weights touch the floor. Stand tall. Squeezing that front glute. Exhale, press. And again. Exhale. Can you draw in through your abdominals a little bit more? Keep them with you and really activate them as you press up. Let's do four more from here. Four. And down. Three. And lower. Stay tall. Two. And down. And last one. Whew, let that go. Shake it off. We're going to put the weights down. Now coming to our chair here, you're going to rest your palms across the top of your chair and send your sit bones out long. So we're trying to get into a position here where our spine is nice and horizontal, okay? And you're going to need room to kick one leg back behind you, okay? So let's start with the right leg. Find your abdominals, reach through the crown of your head, push down into the chair. Exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower it. And we're here lifting the leg. We want to be moved. Try to keep the ankle nice and parallel. So you might even feel like you have to go a little bit pigeon toe here with the, with the moving leg, turning that big toe in. We have a micro bend in the standing leg. Exhale. And we've got the same abdominals connected as if we were in a plank here. We have to support our lower back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Can you recruit more abdominals, particularly the lowest part of your abs? Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Now that standing hip should be feeling warm. Both are working here. Three more. Three, two, and one. And letting that go, let's stand tall for a moment and shake it off. Whew. All right, so now you know what to expect. We're going to cue some different uh, parts. We're going to think about our underarm muscles a little bit. Think about keeping the ribs and hips stacked on top of each other. Let's go with the left leg. So setting it up, send your sit bones way back so you can feel your hamstrings lengthening behind you. Taking that left leg back. Exhale, you lift it. And this is a great time to focus on staying within the range of your hip. So we don't want to dump into the lower back here. It doesn't matter how high this leg goes. Can you push down through your palms into your chair just a little bit more? Using that chair for support. And let's lift the abdominals more. Keeping your head in line with your spine. The head is going to want to drop here. Let's keep it in line, reaching through the crown of your head. And down. Are you still, are you staying parallel with the femur? Maybe you turn the big toe in. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, and one. Let that go. Stand tall. We're almost done with this positioning. The next one is the upper body. Okay, so the legs now, both feet stay down. We keep this little bend in our knee. And we're going to exhale. Sweep one arm over and, op and open through the chest. Inhale, come back. We go the other way. Exhale, rotate, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, back to the chair. Sweep it around. 
and inhale through center. Now our abdominals are anchoring us here. It's just the movement is happening from the upper body, the upper spine, the shoulders, the neck. The hips are staying square and the abdominals stay lifted. Rotate. And back. We're getting that nice opening through the collarbone. Like you're reaching for something for behind you that you can't quite reach. Reach your spine. Let's do four more. Two on each side. Using the underarm muscles to pull that arm back. One more each side. Exhale. Inhale, center. And exhale, pull around. And inhale, center. Let's just hang out here for a minute and stretch your lower back. Bring your feet a little closer to your chair. And find sort of an angry cat spine. Round your spine. It would be totally normal for your lower back to feel tired after all of that plank work. And let's walk towards the chair, keeping your hands where they are. You're gonna bring your left heel up so you just have the toes of your left foot on the floor. And we're gonna do some calf raises with the right leg only. So the left foot is just there for support. Exhale, you come up with the right leg and lower with control. Just finding the calf, getting some blood pumping through the leg. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Let that go. Shake it off. And then coming up on the toes of your right foot. That foot just stays how it is. And now we'll be doing the calf raises with just the left leg. Exhale up. Inhale down, it's a tiny motion. And really think about the way down. Really quietly letting that heel come to the floor rather than dropping it. We're in control on the way down. Nice work, four more. Can you just recruit your abdominals a little bit as we stand here? Just keeping them with us. Last two. And last one. Awesome work. Take your chair, flip it all the way around. So keeping, making sure that the legs are still on the mat so it's not gonna slide away. We're now coming all the way down onto your forearms. Now, if you have a really hard chair, throw your cushion under your forearms. Okay, so my chair's nice and cushy and soft, but if it wasn't, I could be here on the chair with a cushion, okay? So protect your arms. We're just coming down here. We're going to set it up so that our spine feels nice and long. It kind of feels like your bum's way up in the air. Okay, Pushing down equally through your forearms. We're going to bend the right knee. Coming into our donkey kick. Lowering it back to the other leg. And then out to our hydrant. Coming back to center. Exhale, donkey kick up. And bring it in. And exhale, out to the side. And back. I'm sure there's a better name for hydrant, but I call it hydrant just because it reminds me of a little puppy peeing on a hydrant. <laughs> We're getting that nice external rotation at the hip. It's much smaller than you think. Little bend in your standing knee. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, back. Exhale, foot to the ceiling. And inhale, back. And out. Check in with your shoulders. Press down through the forearms. Really stay strong here. Exhale up. Inhale back. And donkey kick. And down. Hydrant. And in. We do one more each. Donkey kick. Lower with control. Out to the side. And bring it in. And let's stand tall. Shaking that off. So it's crazy how much work happens in the standing hip with all of these moves. When you're moving the one, you expect that one to be the sorest, but actually the stabilizer often is, is the one that's working harder. 
All right, back for the other side and we're done with the chair for a little bit. So let's set it back up. Equal weight in your forearms, strong shoulders here. So you are continuously pushing down through your elbows, okay? Let's bend the left knee and straight up. Donkey kick using just the motion at the hip and then hydrant out to the side. Bring it back in. Exhale up and back. Now, we know this pattern. Can you recruit more abs? Can we make our spine longer? Press that standing foot right down into the floor and try to stay really square here. Exhaling up, inhaling back. Straight out to the side. Let's check our shoulders, check your head position. Up and down. Is your lower back overworking here? There should be very little movement in your lower back. And down. Out to the side. And down. Let's do two more. Up and lower. Out to the side. Bring it back in. Last set. Donkey kick. And down. Let's press into those shoulders. Last one. Hydrant. And back in. Take a moment. And then stand tall. Shaking that off. Well done, you guys. We can take this chair and move it right off the mat for now. It's coming back at the end, so just leave it at the end of your mat. But taking it down, let's come down to the floor. Onto your back. And let's find ourselves in a butterfly. So feet together, knees apart. And let your arms be wide and open, palms are facing up. Now let's just catch our breath here. We've done a lot of work already. Big breath in and out. Just observe what happens when we breathe deeply. As you inhale, everything expands. As you exhale, everything contracts back. And exhale. While we lie here, can we recruit pelvic floor on our exhales? Let's do that for four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Pelvic floor draws up. Belly button draws down. And again, inhale. This is just a gentle Kegel, uh, Kegel contraction. Nothing extreme. Think level two or three. Just thinking about those muscles, last breath. Awesome. Bring the knees back together, planting the feet. And we're gonna just move through the, um, some thigh drops. So we're gonna go side to side. So we'll go with the right one, pull it back up, then the left one will tip over and pull it back up, okay? We're gonna go slow, all right? So three counts down, three counts up. Start with the right leg, take a breath in, and exhale, lower the leg down for three, two, one. Take a breath at the bottom and exhale back, coming back for three, two, one. Now we go to the left, we lower down, inhale, exhale out for three, two, one. Take a breath, exhale back for three, two, one. One, your pelvis should be nice and neutral here. We go out with the right for three, two, one, and exhale, coming back to center. Three, two, one, really recruiting those inner thighs. Inhale, exhale, back out. Three, two, one, take a breath and exhale back in for three, two, one, pause there. We're gonna move both at the same time. Big breath, we exhale, send both knees out for three, two, one, take a breath at the bottom, pull them back in, inner thighs for three, two, and one. Squeeze your inner thighs together and then send them back out for three, two, one, 
Take a breath, pull it back. Three, two, one. We have one more here. Big breath. Exhale back out for three, two, one. Pause at the bottom. We're coming back so slow, you guys. We're going to go up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those inner thighs together and give them a nice squeeze. Awesome. And then let your feet come apart, hip width. Hands go behind the head. Gently nod your chin. We're coming up into our first ab prep. Exhale, flexing up. Look at your thighs. Inhale, lower down. The pelvis stays exactly the same. Lower back is in neutral. And again. And down. Last one, we're going to stay up. Inhale, exhale, reach one leg. Inhale, put it down. Exhale, the other leg reaches. Inhale, down. And now the head comes back to the mat. Take a breath, nod your chin. And we flex back up. Think armpits to hips here. Reach one leg. Bring it down. Reach the other. Bring it down and lowering down. We have two more like this. Flex it up. Soften your rib cage. Reach it and back. Check that your chin is not resting on your chest and lowering down. Last one. Flexing up. Reach a leg. Plant it. Reach the other one. Plant it and lower down. Nice work. Keeping your hands where they are, bring your pelvis and lower back into imprint and bring your legs to tabletop. So I'm just going to give you the modification for this. We are going to do the full obliques, which is this one where we're flexed up and we rotate, okay, the full. But your modification for this is just the legs with lots of control, okay? So if you're finding keeping your head up is giving you neck strain or you feel, feel like your abdominals are straining, you're going to stick with just keeping the head down and using the legs and being really focused on your breathing and your leg movement. All right, so if you're going to take the full, clasping your hands behind your head, imprinting your pelvis, legs are up. Point your toes and let's flex up. We're staying up. Keep your eyes on your knees. We cross and rotate. Exhale, inhale through center. Exhale, cross in center. Keeping your elbows super wide here. Think about drawing your shoulder to your knee rather than your elbow. Exhale, twist and center. Twist and center. I know this feels slow, but with this one, the slower the better. And back. And back. Exhale, rotate and center. Rotate and center. One more each side. Cross. And cross. Bring your head down. Give your knees a little hug. And let's all just roll around on the lower back a little bit. Okay, taking a couple deep breaths here. Finding that strong imprint again. Bringing your legs, or keeping your legs in tabletop, clasping the hands behind. Now the same thing applies here. If you keep the head down, you can still get lots out of this exercise. Um, so just make sure you take the modification if you need it. Okay, let's send the legs up long. Nod your chin and flex up to look at your thighs. Your head is going to stay up. We open the legs, crisscross them. Open, crisscross the other way. Open. And cross. And we're not opening very wide. Doesn't have to be extreme. We'd rather be in control here. <sighs> Inhale, open. Exhale, crisscross. <sighs> if you need to take a break and put your head down at any time, you're just going to do that. Cross. And cross. Keep your eyes on your thighs. Four. Three. Two, and one. 
Let's bring the legs in, head goes down, arms go wide. We're into our toe taps. Exhale, alternating toe taps, maintaining our imprint. Just firing up that lower portion of our abdominals. Big breath out as you pull your knee in. Focus on your imprint. You don't have to tap the floor if that's not working for you. Just work within the ranges that allow you to maintain your imprint. Nice work. I know the abs are on fire here. Let's go for six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, you guys. Bring your knees in. One more massage for the lower back. And we're turning all the way over onto our tummy. All right, turn to your side and make your way all the way through. And your head is gonna rest on your hands. We're gonna come into breaststroke three with an arm reach. I'll just show it to you really quickly. So the legs are on, abdominals are on, the upper body floats. We reach the arms wide, they come back to the forehead and everything comes to the floor, okay? So if you want to let your legs turn out, that's fine. If you want them to be a little bit wide, whatever feels good for your lower back and pelvis here. Glue your hands to your forehead, take a big breath in. As you exhale, engage the legs and the abdominals and the glutes and then hover the upper body. Inhale, reach, squeezing your shoulder blades back. Exhale, back to your head. Inhale, lowering down. And again, exhale, float the upper body. Inhale, reach, exhale, back to the head, and down. So the legs, the core, and the glutes are all just holding through this motion. Exhale, up, inhale, reach, keep the abdominals connected. Draw the belly button closer, back to the forehead, and down. Reach through the legs like you're trying to make them longer. Float up, reach, back to the head, and lower down. Four more. Reach, squeeze those shoulders. Come back to your forehead and down. Imagine someone's pulling you up by a string right between your shoulder blades, lifting you up from there. And down, two more. Reach, back, and lower. Last one. And back, and down. Rest for a moment, grab your cushion and throw it right under your pelvis. So, you're, this should feel good. Like you've got a little support for your lower back. I've got it right across my pelvis. So not in my tummy or on my bladder, just right under the hips, okay? So our upper body is relaxed and just resting. And we're going to start to alternate, lifting the leg, exhale it up, inhale it down, and we're alternating between legs. Let's point those toes and reach energy through the legs. Exhale up, inhale down. Let's keep those kneecaps facing downward. Up and up. Let's lift those abdominals, reach your spine, and drop a little tension out of the shoulders. Let's leave the right leg up. You're going to draw tiny little circles with the right leg. So the right leg is floating, the left foot is on the floor, and we're just circling the right leg. It's little. Similar to the circles we do when we're in side lane doing the leg lift series. And let's pause and go the other way with our circles. Reaching the leg, try to make that leg longer and moving right from the hip. Glutes are working hard here. 
Three more. Three. Two. I'm starting to get a quiver in my leg. One. And let that go. Release and send the left leg up so the right leg stays down now. Engage that right leg so it has its supporting like an anchor and now we start to circle the left leg. Start small and get bigger when you're ready. Can you bring your abdominals into the picture, lifting the belly button? Really controlling these circles and then see if you can drop a little tension. And let's go the other way as well. Awesome work, you guys. Keep reaching that leg. Don't let it be idle. That leg should be so engaged, right from the hip all the way to the tips of your toes. Three more. Three, two, one. Let that go. Relax your hips. Maybe wiggle your hips just a little. And then zip the knees right together, bending the knees. And now your feet are, press, are um, shining up to the ceiling, okay? And we're going to squeeze our inner thighs like it's our job, okay? Squeeze the inner thighs like crazy. Don't let the hips lift off of the pillow. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, release them. Now this is not, there's no movement here. This is all about creating energy in the inner thigh. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. As we squeeze the abdominals, lift. And back. Let's think about pelvic floor here. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs. Lift the abdominals. Draw up through the pelvic floor. Release all of them. Exhale, engage. Inhale, release. And again. And release. Squeeze it in. And release. Two more. Release. Last one. Awesome. Let that go. Let your legs come long. Wiggle your hips. And then we're going to turn to your side, taking the pillow out and putting it under your head. So let's come down on our right side. This cushion goes under your head. <clears throat> so knees are bent. They don't have to be perfectly 90. They can be a little bit more open. And we're coming into our clamshells. Exhale, open. Inhale, back. Now, make sure your spine feels nice and long here. It's really easy to kind of curl up into a ball. Feels a little too close to sleeping <laughs> position. And we're just thinking about that external rotation at the hip. We don't have very much. You, it feels like you should be able to go farther, but if we go farther, we're gonna dump into the lower back and that's not what we want. We're working the glute med here and back down. We're going to add on. Let's open the clamshell. Reach your leg long. Bring it back, feet together, and lower down. So we open the clamshell. Reach that leg long. Bring those feet back together and lower down. And up. And reach. Feet together. Lower down. Four more. Reach, back together, and down. Can you find your abdominals in this sideline position and draw them a little closer to you? Up, reach, back, and down. Last one, open, reach it long. Bring it back and let it lower. Give your bum a little massage. And we're switching to the other side. We are so close to being done here, you guys. Finishing up strong. Let's get these clamshells done on the other side. So nice long spine. Draw in through your tummy so you're not sinking into your mat. And then when you're ready, you go into your clamshells. And controlling the lowering. 
So the opening is easy. Controlling going back down with control rather than dropping the leg, that's where the magic's happening. Keep your abdominals on. Exhale up. Inhale down. Now what I find is it usually takes about five or six reps for this for us to start to feel that these muscles and just to feel the work. So let's do two more here and then add on our leg, leg reaches. Awesome. On this next one, bring it up. Reach your leg long. Bring the feet back together and lower the leg. And we open. Reach it up. Feet together. And down. Recruit more abdominals. Bring them a little closer. Keep them with you. And reach. Back. And down. Three more times. Reach. Feet together. And down. Last one. Reach. Feet together. And down. Awesome work, you guys. Let that go. We're coming onto our back. I was going to use the chair again, but I've run out of time. So we're just going to finish with some bridges, some roll-ups, and also some stretching. So coming onto your back, bring your heels a little closer to your bum. When you're ready, you're going to roll through your imprint. Peel the spine off, coming up into your shoulder bridge. Hold that for a moment. And then when you're ready, rolling down, place your spine down one vertebra at a time. Awesome. And again, find neutral. And then when you found it, hit that imprint. Roll up, start to engage the legs. I want you to visualize that you've got a little block between your knees. The belly button is dropping down into the spine here. Rolling the spine back to the floor, back to neutral. And let's do two more of these roll-ups. Roll it up. Hold for a moment in your perfect bridge. And then placing the spine back down. The pelvis is the last thing to come down. And then we're going to roll up one more time. Roll it up. Hold. And then take your time. Last one here. Really take your time coming down. Nice and slow. Notice every single vertebra as you place it into the mat. Awesome. Whew, letting that go. Let's figure four. Bring the right heel, ankle over the left knee. Open that thigh right up. And when you're ready, you're going to bring the leg in. Stretching your piriformis. Your glutes. And sometimes when I'm up here, I like to sway my legs side to side. Also massages your lower back a little bit. that you're feeling. Try to keep your lower back nice and long here. One more breath. Releasing the feet down to the floor. Bring them out nice and wide. Open your arms, palms up, and come through your windshield wipers side to side. Getting nice range of motion through the hip joint. And then bringing your feet back together, bring your right leg over your left knee. I always say like, as if you were sitting like a lady. 
And then very, very, very gently let the legs tip over to the left, getting a nice big stretch through the lower back. You're getting a great twist here. Just be very, only going as far over as you feel comfortable. And keep trying to bring the right shoulder blade down to the floor. Engage through your abdominals just a little bit and then pull the legs back up vertical or back to center, crossing the legs the other way and then very gently and slowly and with control, let your legs tip over and try to keep both shoulder blades down. Long, deep breaths here. And gently, gently come back to center. Turn to your side and just grabbing your cushion, throwing it under your bum. Let's finish with our wide legs. Finding some length through your hamstrings. Sit up really, really tall here. Bring the shoulders back. Point your toes right up to the ceiling. And then walk your hands out, keeping your spine long, allowing your spine to start to curve over into a nice rounded spine, gently dropping the chin towards the chest. And just breathe into your lower back. <sighs> Try to soften with your exhales and lengthen with your inhales. One more big breath. Feeling the back of the legs. Engage your belly button just a little bit as we walk those hands back. And then crossing the legs. Or keep them wide, either one. And thank you so much, you guys. That is it for today. You are all going to feel your bums. <laughs> Think of me and um, have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend. And I will see you for next week. We're doing core, core, core. So last class, we're going to cover it all. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Okay, bye.